Hello everyone and welcome back to Country Cast. Back in 2020, Rascal Flats had surprised fans after they announced their farewell tour, which was suspected to be their final run of shows. However, the tour never got off the ground due to the COVID-19 outbreak at the time, and ultimately the tour never came to fruition as the trio unofficially broke up. The split of Rascal Flats was revealed during a 2021 interview where lead singer Gary LaVox shocked fans when he told people he was unhappy with how the band ended. Here's why. He told people, I've never been okay with the way that ended. I was never okay with it. LaVox then added, I wasn't happy that Joe Don Rooney quit. Now, Jay DeMarcus also spoke publicly on the breakup during an interview with Savannah Chrisley on her podcast, Unlocked with Savannah, where he acknowledged that they had an amazing run as a band and they were all burnt out. Adding, for us, the thing that happened is we burnt the candle at both ends for so long. It was a never ending cycle and it did work, but it's hard to put the machine down or put the brakes on when everything is cruising along and going full speed ahead. For us, we should have taken a break at some point, just a year off to kind of collect ourselves, hit the reset button. He continued and added, in a lot of ways, I feel like I'm still mourning the loss of the flats, even though there wasn't an official breakup. Most of my adult life, it's all that I've known. To have that stripped away from you, not on your own terms, was a very painful thing. And to not have known that in March on the 7th of 2020, when we were in New Jersey doing our last show, that that was the last time the three of us would be on stage together, makes me really sad to think about. To not have had time to give it its proper goodbye and to really savor those moments. Now, throughout this time as well, Joe Don Rooney faced struggles, filing for divorce from his wife, and in 2021, he was also arrested for DUI, which, according to court records and reported by the Tennessean, Rooney pled guilty to those charges in the following year of 2022. But now in a new report from people who obtained newly unsealed documents from Joe Don Rooney's divorce proceedings, we have new details that shed light on Rooney's split from the band, giving us a bit more perspective as to why this may have happened between the trio. Jay DeMarcus and Gary LaVox both appeared for a deposition hearing back in 2022 surrounding Rooney's divorce, but the depositions from both members, like I mentioned, also lay out some reason as to why the trio went their separate ways. According to the documents obtained by People, DeMarcus explained that he spent a brief moment of time with Rooney during his two months out of rehab. DeMarcus says, He called me and just said that he couldn't wait to get it over with, speaking of the divorce there. He goes on to say, And it was painful for him and for the children, and that he hated that it had to come to this between him and his wife Tiffany because he still cared about her. And you know, just how painful the whole process had been, and he'd hoped that it was over sooner than later, and it didn't seem to be headed in that direction. DeMarcus added, I think Joe Don was the first one to be brave enough to put it out there that he was tired of the way things had been the last few years. So he shared with us that he wasn't sure he had the energy or the emotional energy to deal with some of the things we had been dealing with on an ongoing basis. So Joe Don quit the band. As you may or may not know, we had a farewell tour plan and the pandemic sort of robbed us of that opportunity. So I think that because all of that happened and frustrations mounted during the pandemic and we ultimately decided to cancel the tour, that that led to some of Mr. Lavox's frustrations and led to some of the reasons why he may have said some of the things that he did in that particular article that you're referencing. To me, I knew that all of us were frustrated. So what he said in an article I don't think is a real reflection of how it really came down. I think time and egos and money and everything else changes people. Now again, like I mentioned, Gary LaVox was also deposed where he had this to say. I think he came in, speaking of Joe Don, and said that he wanted to be home more. He said he wanted to be home with Tiffany and be able to take care of Devin. And he didn't want to do it anymore and needed a break. He said, look, I'm burnout, so I just want to be home with Tiffany and the kids, and I just need to be home more. 
It was disheartening to make it 19 years and not get to 20 years when we'd already been planning it for a couple of months. I love him, and we pray for him all the time. And Joe Don's tough. I mean, he'll be able to pull out of it and get his life back together. He's got a great family, and his mom and dad and everybody's great support for him. So from listening to what this deposition brought to the table from both Gary and Jay, it does sound as though the band is standing behind Joe Don Rooney during this time in his life. Uh, Even from the earlier interview with Gary LaVox mentioning how he was upset that Joe Don Rooney quit the band, he didn't like how it ended, there might have been, it it appears there there might have been some frustration there because it sounds like it was a bit of a uh, contentious time when they really wanted to see out this farewell tour and make it to that 20 years but again i think right now we are seeing that they are behind joe don rooney and there may be a chance in the future that rascal flats will return to the stage for that farewell tour so guys let us know your thoughts on this down below in the comments but that will be it for today's video here on country cast remember if you are new here hit that subscribe button down below turn those notifications on as well so you never miss out on any breaking updates surrounding your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of music city y'all stay country